on guys, welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. Real quick reminder, for the 73 Power Stroke giveaway, tomorrow is your last day to enter, and then it's over, so do not waste any time. Every $5 gets you five entries to win that truck, plus $5,000. Anyways, we're on the way right now, we're headed to a wheel and tire shop to get some wheels and tires mounted and balanced for the red truck, and also for the blue first gen. The blue first gen is not here today, but you should be able to see this truck with the new tires on it in this video. So we're on our way there now. We gotta run a couple errands, do a couple things, but hopefully we can get the truck back today with the new tires on it, and then we can get a couple other small detailing things done on this truck. Well, got back from picking up the first gen. I'll show you that in a bit. We got bear, except in that. I need turds. But anyway, so the wifey's cleaning up the horse saw stuff. You know, that routine. A lot of fun, right? Yeah. <laughs> More like a lot of poop. We did get two different sets of wheels and tires in here, so I'm gonna show you. The first set I wanna show you is this. And I told you guys that for the blue first gen, I was gonna go with something that was more of the classic styling and not like a big, deep lip stretched wheel and tire setup. So we went with a classic first gen look, the 285, 75, R16, and these are pro comp wheels. You can see that pattern on there. It's not ridiculously wide. I mean, it's about 11 and a half, I'd say, sidewall to sidewall. I think it's about 11 and a half. So, I mean, it's a nice, aggressive setup for a stock height first gen. Uh, the most we might do with that, I think, is gonna be like a front leveling kit on that truck. But just keep it simple, keep it like a nice, conservative, quality ride. Just because I know that those trucks, like unless you go with like air ride or if you go with uh, like a coilover suspension or you know whatever, those things just don't ride great if you make them real big. They already ride kind of stiff as it is. I think these are gonna look perfect on that truck. I mean, they're gonna look, they're gonna look really great. Also picked up some tools from the parents shop that we left over there in the moving process. shut the dog in there. And people are asking about the caps. I already told you in uh, the previous video that the caps are only missing because they left my, my parents' place when we were in the moving process and got them kind of lost over there. So anyways, here's the new tires on the first gen. The Interco setup that we went with, 33, 1250, R16 and a halves. We've got a nice aggressive tread pattern on them, but they ride really nice. I just had it going about 75 down the highway. And this thing rides really, really nice on these tires. They're not super loud and obnoxious. They actually ride really, really quality. I like them. And you guys have to understand that there's not a lot of options when it comes to 16.5 inch, you know, rim sizes and tires that go with those. They're kind of slim pickings. So if you're going to, you know, run that setup, you just got to know that there's not many options to run that setup. So you just kind of got to work with what you got. I think there's like four different tires that I could find out there that are readily available for that wheel size at 16.5. It's just, again, it's not a super common setup. That's why it's kind of hard to come by. Looks great, looks good. We kept the same exact offset, same exact aggressive look as it had before. You know, obviously just a different tread pattern, but as closest thing I could get to that with uh, the 16.5, you know, dilemma. Now, what we're gonna work on next is cleaning out this freaking interior because it was a farmer's truck and it wasn't used and worked as a farm truck, but a farmer owned it. In other words, the truck has hay in it, dust, dirt, typical things you'll find throughout the barn. Well, in here all nice and cozy like. You know, the shop space, I was talking to my dad about it and it's gonna be doable. It's definitely gonna be doable. He came and gave me some pointers as to what he thinks he would do if it was his space and he had to make it work. I feel like I'd be happier just making this work in this being, you know, my shop and her horse barn at the same time. As much as it's not the most ideal thing, I don't need more stuff to make things work. I can work with what I have here and that's what I'm gonna do. So of course you've got the first gen backed in and then it's still a couple feet away from that pole there which is gonna go, the hydrant's gonna have to get replaced and relocated. That pole, we may get rid of it or we may just relocate it down a little bit further for hay storage. What are you, get your head out of the pizza box door. Hey, yeah, you sit your butt down. But anyway, so, uh, and all that aside, there's, a, there's, a, there's plenty of room, you know? We've got two trucks in here right now and of course you could fit two more on the side here. I told you to get your sniffer out of the pizza box. It'll work, and there's gonna be plenty of room for what I'm doing with it. So let's get in here and show you. So we've got all kinds of dirt, leaves, 
grass, dust. A couple clips that need to be popped back in. We're just gonna need a uh, flathead screwdriver and maybe a set of needle nose pliers to line these all back up. Other than that, the door panel's in really good shape. These just were pulled out of place and never put back in. We're gonna get to cleaning all this interior up right now, and then we'll get back when it's done. Bam! Nice clean floors. I need to get them a little bit better here, but for the most part, I got all of the junk off, all the, a lot of junk off the dash other than armor all wiping it because it's really dusty. Seats are all clean. Got the seats done really well. You know, I never realized, like, when they called this a limited edition at the time in 89, like, all the small, funny little details, like the little buckles with the leather, you know, strap there. Uh, this, like, felt, it's almost like a felt cloth, metallic-y thread coloring red. Like, if you see in person, you know what I'm talking about if you've sat in one of these things. I mean, it's like, it's really funny how they did all the little things. And like at the time, that was like the limited edition. You know what I mean? Because like I've had a 2019 limited edition and obviously like I've seen the, the crazy difference from, you know, then to now. And it's just unbelievable the difference. You know, you can see this is all cleaned other than needing wiped, but all the grass and dirt and stuff's vacuumed out. The seat's getting a little bit wore. Of course, you can see his he's getting a little bit wore down, but it's still in pretty darn good shape. Trim pieces all the way around the cab. The trim as the pinstriping. I mean, it's just, it's just funny. Like, it's funny, but it's cool. It's cool because, like, at the time, this was, like, in your face. I've got a limited. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just funny. I don't know. This is one of those things that, uh, it, I don't know. It just makes me think, wow. We've come a long way. In some areas we've come a long way, in other areas we haven't come far at all. So now what we're gonna be doing next is trying to condense all this scattered hay mess into one spot so we can get a little bit of progress on the shop space here so we can get to building everything out. So we did get most of the hay moved out. There's a little bit here in the corner yet I gotta get moved. But this is good news because now we just gotta remove this tarp, get rid of some of these old boards. The ones that are still good, we'll keep them just in case we need to reuse them for something. Um, but then we're pretty much gonna be ready to move stuff away from the walls and then insulate and OSB board everything up. That way we have a foundation to then move up to the ceiling, do all that as well. I have an idea of what I wanna do, so just stay tuned, there's a plan. I know there's going to be some people that have, you know, opinions about it and they would do certain things different, but that's no matter what you do, that's going to happen. I'm sorry. But I have had a lot of people request that I show them a little bit of the property. I'm not going to show too much, but here's the fire we've got going right now. And what we've been doing is using a pitchfork and putting the prongs down and scraping away all of the actual stuff that's flammable, kind of, except now it's all rained on, so it doesn't really do any good but scraping it all away from the edge so that the fire doesn't lead out anywhere. Um, and it works pretty well. Works, works pretty well. Got a little piece fall off the pile. But anyways, so, what I was gonna do is show you guys a little bit around the property. Now in terms of the property, there's not like a ton that I'm gonna show you guys, but I might just kind of show you like a small, bit of it here of course i hope you guys understand that for privacy reasons i'm not going to share too much other than just some small small stuff so let me show you a little bit around so of course we've got the fire the barn the area all that stuff you've got my wife's writing arena which i'll show you well i've already showed it to you before but then you come back here and you've got a pasture over here and this is um not quite an acre, but very close to it. Actually, it might be an acre. That, I mean, well, it goes all the way over to there and all the way up back there over the hill. And then you've got, of course, this pasture over here. And then our property kind of goes back down over this hill, back down to the edge of that big field down here. And this field is, it's pretty big. It's actually, it's actually quite big. But of course, we don't own the field. We just own back down to the field through this little section of woods here. 
and that's pretty much it. What was funny was my wife sent me a video here about an hour ago and there's a bunch of turkeys walking around down here strutting around so I said hmm turkey season. So there's a little bit for you guys just a little little sample of what we've got going on back here. I hope you guys get the idea. Just a basic country setting far from town. And I would love to show you guys the house and inside the house and the surrounding area and all that stuff but I really don't think it's a good idea just because I trust most of you guys that are watching are really great good people that respect privacy but I know that there are some people out there that just don't have the understanding of boundaries and privacy therefore I'm not going to show you everything around here but everything you can see behind me all the way back over the hill back into the woods a little bit there um, that's all that's all part of our property, all of that back there and all that over there. I did get some of the shop cleaned out. I got some cleaning done on the first gen. We did get new tires on the first gen. We got new tires and wheels for the other first gen ready to go. Another thing, with this whole coronavirus thing going around and people just acting like a bunch of chickens running around with their heads cut off, I understand that it's an actual thing, but I don't think you guys need to take it as extreme as you are. And I'm guessing that most of my audience is not part of the problem just because I know the certain demographic of people that really are taking it too far and most of them aren't good old boys and girls like you. So you go into the stores and people are like plowing through each other to make sure they buy up all the beef and all the bread and all the milk and all the eggs. And it's like, I mean, we got some basic stuff just because now it puts you in a situation to where it's like, okay, you got all these people acting dumb, and now if you don't go and get extra supplies for yourself, it's like, you kind of have to, because you don't know if you can do your normal grocery shopping next week, because there's so many people being dumb. Now we're buying two cartons of eggs, and two of this, and two of that, that we normally don't, just because we're like, we don't know if these people are gonna be going even more psycho next week. Like, we might not be able to find eggs and bread and stuff like that. It's really dumb. I think people are taking everything way out of proportion and making everything a way bigger deal than it really is. That's just my opinion. I'm not a medical doctor, I'm not a scientist, nothing like that. Just my observation based on the stats that I've been seeing, it's like, okay, so it's a 0.000003% chance you out of that one person in the world actually catches it. And then it's a 0.000001% chance after you catch it that you actually could die from it. So it's like, it's just ridiculous. I mean, the media is just ridiculous. Let's just say that the media, they manipulate feelings and emotions and they get people going crazy out of their mind because they know they can and they're gonna use it to turn it around on somebody else and make it look like it's somebody else's fault and somebody else didn't do a good enough job in this during this time. And I'm saying stuff without saying too much. I hope you guys can understand what I'm saying. Anyways, guys, keep your sanity. Be real, don't go crazy, guarantee you three, four weeks from now, people are gonna be like, I freaking bought up all the toilet paper and all the beef and all the bread for nothing. Like it's gonna, it's gonna seem absolutely ridiculous. I guarantee you. I'm out guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna enjoy this fire for a little bit longer here. If you guys haven't done so yet, enter to win the 7-3 Power Stroke. You guys are down to literally I think, wait a minute. I think you guys are down to the last 24 hours to enter to win that truck and then it's gone. Every $5 is five entries to win that truck plus $5,000 cash. Watch until the end and I'll show you a video around the truck one last time. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Well everybody, diesel giveaway number 13 is here and it is almost gone. So if you wanna to enter to win this truck plus $5,000 cash, every $5 gets you five entries to win and then the giveaway will be over on March 18th. So if you haven't done so yet, get entered to win this truck because time is running out, we're gonna need a winner and it might as well be you. So head on over to lmpgear.com and get entered while you can.